All right, Pisces. Um, let's do a reading for the next 72 hours for Pisces. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest to the most high, you are welcome into this reading for the sign of Pisces. Anybody sending any black magic? Huju, buju, juju. Please return that shit to the sender. Positive vibes only on this channel will be taken. Thank you. Hope everybody is happy, healthy, safe, and doing well. All right, let's see what messages we have for Pisces for the next 72 hours. So over the weekend, first weekend of February, 2023. Messages, please, for Pisces. Sun, moon, <clears throat> rising, Venus, and North Node. Five cards, please. Single jumping cards only. So we got the frying pan, trouble accusations. All righty. All righty then. What else for Pisces for the next 72 hours for the weekend? We have the mule. Someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. Some of you guys may be dealing with someone who's stubborn. Honor and respect will come to you with the crown. This came out recently in a reading. I think I made it my thumbnail. Well, actually, I don't remember. I don't remember. I think I took a picture of it. It related to the reading, but I don't think it actually came out. I remember. It was uh, after I clicked off the reading, I looked under the card that was on the bottom of the deck, and it was this card. And so I posted it as a thumbnail because it actually related to the reading. So honor and respect will come to you, but some of you guys could be, I don't know, Someone may be in the frying pan. Someone may be trying to put you in the frying pan. Okay, but you guys are obviously dealing with someone who's extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. The butterfly, a change for the better. Beautiful butterfly. And, oh, a diamond. You'll be receiving a precious gift. Pisces. And a change for the better. Metamorphosis. Something here is changing for the better. Honor and respect will come to you. Some of y'all may be receiving, I don't know, a proposal and a goal-oriented person on the bottom of the deck. All right, so let's clarify. What is this trouble accusations? Why is this showing up in Pisces reading for this weekend? Oh, my gosh. And I did shuffle these cards already before I clicked on when I always say my prayer before I get on camera and then I say it on camera well I say a shorter version of it on camera but anyways yeah yeah let's see why is trouble accusations here for Pisces just seen the eight of cups uh, when the deck flipped open Trouble accusations. Why is this here for Pisces reading for the weekend? First weekend of February. Single jumping cards only. I was just told to cut the deck. Applications. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, the Empress, Taurus, Libra energy. Some of y'all may be dealing with a mother, a maternal figure, someone who's very attractive, abundant, witty, outgoing, creative. Um, Six of Cups and the Page of Cups. So this could be someone from your past or someone you share children with. Children is here strong, especially with this Empress. Some of you guys could be pregnant. Um, what the hell? Hmm.
So for some of you guys, there may be some type of accusation surrounding a child. This could be, let me see, what is this Queen of Wands? There could be an apology coming in, maybe from your children or from Seven of Swords. Okay, so what I was getting initial initially when I said, what the hell? Um, oh my gosh, I got something in my eye. Um, the Queen of Wands, typically in the reverse, but um, someone here, the Queen of Wands is very attractive, gets a lot of attention. So I don't know, you get a lot of attention. You could be very good looking. You could be also very abundant, um, very fruitful. Some of you guys could be a mother. So there could be some accusations surrounding a child. I was getting kind of like paternity and then we get the Seven of Swords. So yeah, someone may have you know, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, maybe you have fire in your chart or you're just someone who's very vibrant, but someone here feels like you're being sneaky or deceptive or lying about something um, or doing something underhanded. Let me see why this Empress is here. The Ten of Pentacles, pretty much in the reverse. Why is the Six of Cups here? Six of Cups. Show me the page of cups. Thank you. So the wheel of fortune, something is definitely changing. Positive, pos, positive. Oh my gosh, whatever. Um, <laughs> it's one of those days, okay? So the sun card. Um, when the wheel is in the upright in your reading, this is something turning in your favor. With the sun card coming out, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio energy. Again, something here is turning in your favor that's going to make you very happy. This has to do with possibly something from the past. This could have to do with the family dynamic that has ended or a marriage that ended. Um, why is the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse? Three of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? The Page of Swords. So there could be some type of information that's found out about some type of a betrayal, some type of deception, maybe surrounding a child, Taurus, Libra, Aries, Leo, Sag, Aquarius, um, Scorpio, Taurus, Energy. I already said Taurus. Anyways, there are some... The Ten of Pentacles in the reverse is like an end to a family dynamic and could also be like a loss of money, you know, due to some type of third party situation. It says accusation. So I don't know. There could have been some type of. Okay. If there's someone from your past or someone that you share children with specifically. I don't know if this is another woman. The Queen of Wands can sometimes be the other woman. The Empress can be like the wife or the mother. Um, somehow there's children involved here, but it almost looks like somebody was trying to cause someone's downfall. Like someone was doing something sneaky and deceptive, maybe making some type of accusations towards uh, someone trying to cause someone to like lose it all. The Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, but with the Wheel of Fortune and the Sun here, uh, I feel like somebody like had a glow up or somebody here. And with the Empress in the upright too, this is like someone's still very abundant. And this Queen of Wands is the one over here spying. Uh, you know, the Page of Swords can sometimes be a gossiper or someone who's like trying to get some type of information, but in a deceptive way. This could be like the other woman or another feminine in your energy, whether it's a sister, uh, ex-lover, uh, um, ex-lover's new boo, um, a friend, you know, whoever this is. Someone here was saying, saying some shit, like trying to like stir up some shit to cause you some type of heartbreak if you're this empress. But I feel I see that turning out like turning out in your favor with the Wheel of Fortune in the upright, the Sun card. OK. And somehow children are involved in this situation. Let's move on. Someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. 
the mule. This could have been a younger Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or Aries, Leo, Sag, or they have those placements. The star card. Someone is un someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. The star. Ace of Pentacles. Oh my gosh. I'm like drooling over here. <laughs> so the star. There's some type of wish fulfillment coming in. A proposal. Ooh, Tam. The King of Pentacles. Hey. All right, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, Ace of Wands. You got the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands and the Star and the King of Pentacles. Some of you guys have, um, what does this have to do with someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change? Some of you guys have like someone new coming in, or this could just be dealing with a, an earth sign or someone that you're married to or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn or someone who you're committed to. You're going to receive some type of an offer of like wish fulfillment. It's like there's light at the end of the tunnel here. If you guys were dealing with someone who's extremely stubborn and willing to change, how does that play into this? Ooh, the five of wands reverse. Someone doesn't want to fight anymore. Um, someone may want to compromise. Three of wands in the death card. So something here is changing. I feel like it's changing for the better. The end of conflict, the end of competition. Maybe somebody's wanting... This King of Pentacles and this Ace of Pentacles, someone may be wanting something more committed. Someone may see you as wish fulfillment. This could have been someone who was like really stubborn and unwilling to change. But with the death card here, something is changing. Three of Wands. Someone could be traveling. Someone here is like finding, finding the self-confidence to push forward, to move forward. Someone's ships are coming in. Something's changing. So if you're dealing with someone who's extremely stubborn and unwilling to change, this person may actually be changing. Like the Five of Wands reverse, someone doesn't want to fight anymore. Someone doesn't want to compete, put you in competition. They want something loyal, committed. There's an offer coming in that's wish fulfillment. Yeah, okay. So go into the next card. The crown, honor and respect will come to you. So there's some type of honor and respect that's coming to you, Pisces. The Five of Pentacles in the reverse. The page of pentacles. Yeah, it's like coming out of that lack mindset, um, improving your finances, improving your health. Okay, there's some type of positive change. Okay. And the page of pentacles. It's like new opportunities. Queen of Cups, that's you. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There's some type of a new opportunity here that's coming in with this page of pentacles or a message of good news. It could be from this earth sign. Or someone with earth placements or just someone who wants some wants to like build on something. The page of pentacles, you know, talks about building, building on something. <laughs> page of pentacles again and the king of cups and the chariot. Oh my gosh. Cancerian energy. Oh, and the ace of swords twice. Damn. Y'all see this? Oh, oh, load it. So double clarity maybe you and your and your soulmate because you have the king to the queen of cups here maybe you and your soulmate both got clarity double clarity okay like there's some type of breakthrough happening for this soulmate this this there's a lot of love here as well and there's an opportunity to move forward with the chariot this is something positive honor and respect will come to you damn okay yeah and then the next card i love how these readings like Always flow into the next card. I'm not even reading for that, but then I go to the next card. A butterfly, a change for the better. What was I saying? This is like a change for the better. Some type of breakthrough. Someone may also be expressing love, or both of you guys may be expressing love. Someone, Five of Pentacles reverse. Someone's wanting to come in from out of the cold as well. Whether that's you or this person, I don't know. Show me this change for the better. Y'all, be sure to hit that like button if this reading uh, gives you some type of inspiration. The Empress, again, a change for the better. All right, so um, the full card, a brand new beginning, taking some type of a risk, Aries Leo, uh, Aries Leo energy. Someone here is, you know, very strong, very courageous. Someone here is finding, you know, some type of self-control or bravery here. This is strength. The Empress and the Strength card. Someone here is like unstoppable. 
the page of swords and someone sees this someone's like watching you or is that other page of swords oh oh no this doesn't go over here this is that page of swords just joking so the empress the strength and the full card i was like where did it go oh this is the card okay nine of wands reverse So the Nine of Wands reverse can talk about like refusing to compromise, being stubborn, rigid. Okay. So the Empress, Nine of, Nine of Wands reverse. So this Empress, Pisces, if this is you, the same Empress over here. Um I feel like you guys, you guys are refusing to compromise. It's like, you know, your worth. You guys may have given up on something and chose yourself. Okay. Showed a lot of strength here. Took some type of a leap of faith or started something new. Took some type of a risk. Yeah. You guys refuse to compromise because you know, your worth the Empress, a change for the better. And that's, that's bringing about some type of change. All right, you'll be receiving a precious gift. I feel like there was another feminine energy, this Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands, Seven of Swords, Page of Swords. This is somebody who um, could be very attractive. This could be like another woman, whether it's a friend or just someone. This is a hater, though. This person was doing something sneaky, underhanded, spying, looking, gaslighting, or watching. I don't know why I said gaslighting, but apparently I meant to. Seven of Swords and Page of Swords. I guess that could kind of mean gaslighting. Um, 10 of pentacles reverse and three of swords. This person tried, this person could have tried to like wreck your finances, your business, your abundance, your family, your home, whatever this 10 of pentacles is to you and three of swords. It's like this person tried to inflict some type of heartbreak on you by being deceptive and shady and gossiping. And, you know, what was this person doing? What was this person doing spirit? Trouble accusations. This person was like saying shit accusations. Ten of Cups. Um, this could be someone in your family. This person could have been gossiping or talking, making accusations about. Oh, I did say something about DNA or family or what the hell? Okay. Page of Swords can also talk about like paperwork, documents. I don't know if someone was trying to like Seven of Swords, Page of Swords, like falsify documents or like lie on paperwork or documents surrounding some type of marriage or family dynamic in order to have you lose out on the Ten of Pentacles. How in the hell and who in the hell and why in the hell? Somehow children are at play here too. Does this have something to do with like taxes or something? Like someone's trying to make you lose out on something. By like lying on documents or, or false information. It's surrounding a family. I feel like you refuse to let this person put you into a corner. It's like you stood up with strength here. Huh. Tell me you'll be receiving a precious gift. You'll be receiving a precious gift for Pisces, the Queen of Cups, the Tower. So Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer energy. This may come as a shock to you. Something here is shocking or it's unexpected. The High Priestess and the King of Wands. <clears throat> Mm. 
Some of you guys are secretly taking action to like, or someone's secret king of wands, Aries Leo Sag, could be secretly taking action towards you. What is this tower? Someone may also be hiding the fact that they're going through a tower moment or they're keeping it to themselves. Nine of Swords. Yeah, someone's taking action. This could be aggressive or this could be some type of communication coming in rather quickly. Four of Cups. Huh. And someone's bored or discontent or they feel like they missed an opportunity. This is quick communication coming in, and this is for the weekend. What's the Eight of Cups? Someone here is moving on, walking away emotionally from a situation. The King of Cups. My ear is ringing. Keep in mind, Tara has no gender here, so that's where this gets kind of confusing because there's a lot of different energies here. Um, but there's definitely, like, I feel like there could be, like, two soulmates or, like, you know, if you're a woman, you may have, like, a masculine soulmate, an Aries, Leo, Sag, and a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Same, same way... If, same way vice versa masculine i feel like someone here has like two different soulmates but somebody's like bored and discontent with something and they're walking away from one thing and coming towards another and this could shock somebody but they're secretly taking action or they're hiding the fact why is the high priestess here someone someone's taking action towards you yeah someone's taking action towards you magician virgo gemini i'm not gonna take those two There could also be some secrets coming out about what someone was invested into because I had the High Priestess, Seven of Pentacles. So for some someone out there, there could be some... some. Yeah, there could be some secrets coming about what someone was invested into. What's a magician? Six of Pentacles, Six of Swords. Someone's wanting to like... Someone's, someone's working on something to like have some type of equal give and take to move something into calmer waters. What are they working on? Someone maybe Six of Pentacles can also talk about a gift, and that's what we're clarifying is this diamond. So someone may be coming in with some type of gift. Uh, you know, the Six of Swords can also talk about like um trying to heal a situation to move something into something that's more stable, harmonious, some type of a happy family dynamic. Okay. So this, yeah, the hair font on the bottom. This could be a marriage. Someone may be proposing something and that may shock you. Why is someone secretly taking action? On? Someone's been manifesting, trying to use their intuition. The Nine of Swords can be like a quick departure or arrival. Someone may be, the way I see it with this Nine of Swords rushing towards this Four of Cups, I feel like someone's rushing in because they feel like they missed an opportunity. If you're this King of Cups, you may be walking away from someone. Or this is someone who walked away from you, King of Cups, but this person's coming in with love. They're coming in with love. And clarity. And the King of Cups down here, Ace of Swords, King, King, King and Queen of Cups, and Ace of Double Ace of Swords, the Chariot, Page of Pentacles. Somebody here is taking action to come in with something. And I feel like this could have been someone who was un extremely stubborn or unwilling to change something. But the Death card is here. 
in the three of wands like something's changing for the better someone's ships are coming in and then you have the butterfly here which is also a change for the better some type of opportunity ace of pentacles is wish fulfillment the star card it's like something here in the five of wands reverse somebody no, doesn't want to fight anymore they don't want to compete they don't and again, I said something over here also changing for the better. The sun card and the wheel of fortune. Something here is changing for the better. This could have been a fire sign or someone with fire in the chart who may have, I don't know, again, if you have a family with this person or there's somehow children involved. But someone here has been watching, spying, like strategically trying to figure out how to like the ten of cups, like to how to have some type of like emotional fulfillment. But I feel like somebody caused a lot of heartbreak, even financial hardship. What is this uh, Three of Swords, Ten of Pentacles reversed? The Seven of Cups. Somebody here may have had a lot of other options, third party energies, Ten of Swords. Yeah, they betrayed you. The Emperor, this, oh, <laughs> this was your counterpart. Your counterpart betrayed you. Because they had a lot of other options. This person may have been confused. This person could have even been under a love spell. The Eight of Swords can, I mean, the Ten of Swords can talk about like a spell being broken. And the Seven of Cups can talk about like love spells, you know, confusion. So there could have been a love spell that's been broken here. And this Emperor is like coming in wanting to take charge of a situation. But I feel like this was someone who, I don't know, there was some like accusations that were being made by maybe someone in someone's family. Could have been making accusations, um, doing something deceptive or underhanded, but things are about to turn in your favor, Pisces, and this is going to shock the hell out of you. This is a counterpart. Again, I think this came out in a reading recently. We had the Queen of Cups, King of Cups, King of Wands, Queen of Wands. Somebody's coming in wanting commitment. That's why this King of Pentacles is here. They don't want to fight anymore. They want wish fulfillment. They're, they're coming in with something tangible. That's going to be some type of wish fulfillment. Damn, Pisces. About time you guys had a decent reading. I'm going to claim this shit. <laughs> um, where are we at? 27. Yeah, something here is changing. Somebody may have been under some type of confusion, illusion, some type of spell, but it's broke. Ten of Swords, bro. Oh. This could have, you know, you could have, the Emperor, the Empress, y'all could have had a family together with the Six of Cups, or this is like a past life soulmate. Like, you guys share a very strong, like, spiritual bond. There's some type of innocence surrounding this connection as well. Or, I don't, I don't know about innocence, but like, um, childlike, and, you know, like, some, like, okay. You guys may bring out like the inner child in each other. Like you guys may come together and Emperor Empress is like two like, you know, very mature people. But you guys may act like children together or something like that. Declutter. Declutter your life. Let go of correspondence, objects, and people you no longer want. Someone will hurt your feelings and reveal a new side of themselves that you may wish to avoid. So it's time to get rid of people, places, and things that no longer serve you. Uh, someone here may, you know, this could be past, present, or future, guys. So this could be something that is happening, will happen. Uh, wisdom, to focus on the past is to lose the future. Heed advice from an older person, which will allow you to move on. Reinvent yourself. A transformation is taking place. Enjoy a new lease on life. So, I don't know. Maybe you guys have both, like, had to, like, reinvent your guy, like, reinvent reinvent yourselves and get rid of people places and things maybe both y'all got your feelings hurt from people around you maybe each other even i don't know but it's, it's like something here is being taken out of i feel like both of y'all's lives someone here you know maybe talking to someone else who's wise or getting some type of advice from a wise person as well all right, Pisces, I'm going to leave this reading here. This looks really good. I feel like if you were dealing with someone who's extremely stubborn and unwilling to change, the death card clarified that. It's like something here is changing. So, and it looks like love and passion and stability. 
This could have been someone who walked away from you, a baby, because you have the king of cups, a baby father maybe who walked away from you, who rejected you, this person, or they feel like they missed an opportunity and this person's rushing back. Like I said, I feel like there's some type of an illusion that this person may have been under that's been broken or transformed. This person is changing. They're wanting to move something forward. Three of Wands. This person doesn't want to fight anymore. They want some type of higher level of commitment. And they're coming in with some type of offer here that's going to make you happy. An offer of stability, a new opportunity. And then we had the King and Queen of Cups come out. Uh, where did he go? I'm going to use this one. The King and Queen of Cups come out with the double Ace of Swords. It's like both y'all have gotten some type of clarity or some type of breakthrough. There's some type of plans, communication opening up here. Love being expressed. Okay. Five of Pentacles reverse. Someone's wanting to come out of the cold and like have some type of new opportunity or send some type of message to move something forward with the Chariot card. Yeah, it's like a... A plan to move something forward in a positive direction. Wow, Pisces. I'm going to leave this reading here. I went over again, but that's okay. Uh, be sure to smash that thumbs up button if this reading gave you inspiration, clarity, or anything. Let me know how it resonates with you, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.